Hey, today we're going to go through identification ions kind of questions. I know that many of us find it very difficult and often we just give up. But it's amount to 7 to 8 marks, sometimes even 10. It's just so much marks that you can't give up, give it up, right? So I came up with two steps, all right? So watch the video and see if it helps you. If you like the video, remember to click like and don't forget to subscribe, all right? Next questions that we have over here, similarly, it's slightly different, but I will still use back my steps. Always step one, if you remember, look out for the solution followed by the guesses. Okay, but before that, we always read the question. So what did the question say? Figure 8.1 involves a compound C. It's a metal chloride. And you will need the following information to identify C. A compound C has a general formula of XCl2. They give you the formula. And X represents a metal in group 2 of the periodic table. Now, under group 2 of the periodic table, you have a list of elements. The elements in group 2 is beryllium, magnesium, calcium, barium, strontium, and radon, Rn. So these are the elements in group 2. Now they go on to say that the relative atomic masses of AR, which is AR, BE is this, MG is this, CL is this, CA, SR, strontonium, and barium is this. So they give you all of this. Now, let's move on to look at the question. An aqueous solution. Remember I say, in order to solve it, we always look for the solution. So this seems to be the first clue that I have. And they say warm with aluminium powder and aqueous sodium hydroxide. This is a good clue because this clue seems to give me something. Using my table over here, sodium hydrox aluminium powder with sodium hydroxide, aluminium powder, sodium hydroxide. It seems like they are test on nitrate. Here, colorless gas that turned damp red litmus paper blue. They have a test of gas, damp red litmus paper blue. Then red litmus paper blue, it shows that ammonia is present here. So I quickly write down ammonia, even though it is not required because it's not, uh, uh, you're not supposed to find out who is this, but it's okay. And move on, they say A here, go on, you add aqueous sodium carbonate. It seems different, but this is sodium carbonate. It is not in any of this that I've learned. It's not in any one of this that is familiar that I mentioned before. It seems to be special. It seems to be the special test that we are looking for. But never mind. Let's move on. They say add acid. Okay, add acid. Now, whenever you add acid, I remember over here, add acid is a test for what? Carbonate. Could be, okay? Effervescent, if there's carbon dioxide, then it's carbonate. So let's move down. It gave you a metal chloride, C metal chloride. We know that just now C is a metal chloride, MR159. Hey, they gave you MR. What does MR represent? MR is your relative molecular mass. And it's 159 over here. How much is that? It's 159. Can I calculate something? Yes, because I've already given that C has a formula of XCL2. With this, it seems that I can find out who is my unknown X here. Okay, so if I use a calculator quickly, I can quickly find it out. Because X is my unknown, I don't know, but I do know my CL. One CL is 35.5 is times 2 because there are two sets. Add up, so it will give you 159. So I will use 159 minus away 35.5 times 2 that will give me a good 88. So x equals to 88. Who is 88? SR. So immediately I know that this is actually SRCL2. So my C is actually SRCL2. Strontonium chloride. Name, I'm supposed to write down either name or chemical formula. So this is a chemical formula. I will just leave it there, all right? Now, they go on, colorless gas here, bubble into lime water. So, I get a white PPT. Who is this white PPT then? So, if a gas bubble into lime water give you a white PPT, obviously the lime water test is actually for carbon dioxide. Immediately, I know that this is carbon dioxide. So, like I mentioned, first, we look for the solution to get your cation and anion. 
if this thing doesn't work and doesn't give you a lot of clue, I move on to guesses. From this thing, is this whole question is a little different. You notice that I can't follow strictly to this rule, but some other parts give me other information. So I will just go by the flow. The flow tell me that, hey, D here is carbon dioxide. Immediately, I will write down CO2. All right. Now, how about this equation over here? They want a white PPT. Huh. So I was thinking, like, hey, what is this here? Well, do not fret. Basically, this is uh, equation that I thought it would be useful if you want to know uh, what is this white PPT. First of all, I feel that all of us should at least know that carbon dioxide plus lime water chemical formula is calcium hydroxide. If you don't know, learn it now, all right? Now, when obviously we know that when carbon dioxide bubble to lime water give you a white PPT, that is your calcium carbonate. You need to know this plus H2O. This is the balanced chemical equation, okay? If you open it up and you balance it, you realize that it's fully balanced already. So it's very easy and nicely done, okay? So with this in mind, uh, I will know who is my white PPT because over here, my carbonate, calcium carbonate is my white PPT carbonate. It, unless you're group one, you're soluble, others are insoluble. So this is solid. Immediately, I know that this E here is my calcium carbonate. So I write now CaCO3, uh, which is my E, CaCO3. So let's do a backwards up. Now I can find my B and my A. First of all, B over here is a white PPT form. We add with acid to give you a salt, which is SRCl2 and carbon dioxide. It's, it seems like a reactions of acid. Like I always say, every time an acid is added, go and recall this property here. Acid, we add with what? Will give you carbon dioxide, a salt. So obviously this is a metal carbonate. So my B is my metal carbonate. Which metal carbonate is this? If my salt is SRCl2, since I know that the acid here is HCl, so I'm going to write over at this portion so that everybody can see. The metal, it must be a metal carbonate. I know it's carbonate. Which metal carbonate? Since I know that CO2 is present, the salt here is XCl2, SRCl2. Obviously, the, if this is my SRCl2, in order to form SR here, my carbonate here must be SRCO3. So I will know that this is SRCO3. Because this is SRCl2, this must be SRCO3. Of course, the equation is not balanced. I just need to make sure that I fill out the necessary part. And because this is Cl2, I put another 2 here. I've balanced this equation. I have one, an, I have one full equation that's balanced. I have another one that I balanced just now with the lime water. So you can pick any one of them to write over here. So immediately, I know that my B is strontonium carbonate. SRCO3. Now, how about my A here? Let's move upwards, okay? I know something about A. Over at this part here, our eyes on A right now, I know immediately that it's an aqueous solution. Like I always say, there are two unknown. For this portion here, because they added aluminum powder followed by sodium hydroxide, it's a very obvious test for nitrate. And because ammonia gas is evolved, they turn them red limits paper blue, there's nitrate present. Then who is your A over here? You notice that this A solution, A to B over here, I know one of them is nitrate plus sodium carbonate and A2CO3. Let's try my eight lines method. Now, one of the product over here is SRCO3. Like I mentioned just now, it's all about exchanging of my partners, okay, of the cation and ion. If this is CO3 here, this portion here is SR. Obviously, this must be SR so that when they exchange partner, I'll get SRCO3 plus NaNO3. So my eight line still works. So who is my... A. A over here is tada, SR and O3. Now, be, make sure that SR, you remember, is 2 plus and NO3 is minus, so I know it's SR and O3 bracket 2. And if you notice that this entire listing to identify it, they give you a hint. 
they they guide you by going from E to D to C to B to A. If you follow this look, uh, the arrangement, you know that they are actually scaffolding this entire question, guiding you how to find this. And of course, any of the equation, balance equation, I have already have a, a couple of them. Let me balance the last one here for you so that you don't make mistake. And A, this is two here. I put another two here. And because this is two here, I have balanced this entire equation nicely. And I have gained my full seven marks. Thank you so much for watching the video. I know that it's really long and thank you for staying through. Um, you can actually repeat some of the parts so that you remind of yourself of the steps and practice and practice. As you practice more, you'll be more confident of solving this kind of question, okay? Remember, if you like the video, help me to click like, okay? And don't forget to subscribe.